Good Wednesday morning from the Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. This is the International Space Station Flight Control Room and our coverage of Expedition 33's voyage aboard the International Space Station. The uh, Expedition 33 crew is being watched over by a team of flight controllers today. Uh, the shifts here in Mission Control uh, cover uh, crew activities 24 hours a day. Uh, every day throughout the year. Shift changes occur about eight or nine hours apart so that teams can uh, be up to speed on activities ongoing aboard the orbiting complex, which currently is uh, about 250 miles above Kazakhstan on a um, uh, easterly, southeasterly track that uh, will take it down across China, Southeast Asia, and then across uh, Australia uh, into an orbital sunset uh, or sunrise across the uh, South Pacific, chasing the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, uh, which is actually chasing the space station, catching up with the space station ever so slowly uh, with the next three crew of uh, uh, crew members headed for the complex of Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, and Yevgeny Terelkin. Uh, they launched uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in the uh, early morning hours uh, Tuesday and are scheduled to rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station on uh, Thursday morning at 8.35 Eastern Time, 7.35 Central. They will join the current uh, three crew members aboard the station, uh, commanded by astronaut Sunny Williams. She's joined uh, as part of Expedition 33 by uh, flight engineers Yuri Malenchenko from uh, Russia and uh, Aki Hoshide from uh, JAXA, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. They're enjoying their 100th day aboard the International Space Station uh, this Wednesday and uh, 102 days now in space uh, for those three crew members scheduled to return home on Sunday late in the evening, uh, November 18th. They uh, are spending a uh, uh, quite a busy day uh, Wednesday uh, with uh, activities associated with a number of uh, spacecraft on board. Uh, the primary one, of course, the uh, Dragon uh, spacecraft, which is uh, docked to the uh, station, serving as a uh, cargo resupply a Services 1 mission. It is uh, in its uh, 17th orbital uh, day, Dragon is uh, being uh, uh, loaded with cargo that uh, will be returned home. It's a unique uh, spacecraft that has the ability to splash down and be retrieved. It is uh, scheduled to return home on uh, Sunday afternoon with a splashdown west of Baja, California in the uh, early afternoon, mid-afternoon hours, scheduled for a 3.20 uh, p.m. Eastern time uh, splashdown uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. The uh, crew, in addition to uh, stowing uh, equipment inside Dragon, they are also wrapping up experiment work, uh, sortie experiment work that was uh, delivered to the station aboard Dragon and also uh, will be returned home aboard Dragon. Um, that uh, activity is being completed as well. So it's a busy day for the crew on board the station, all three crew members as they anticipate the arrival of uh, their uh, other three crew members headed their way for arrival on Thursday morning.